fucking rock and roll. One, two, three, four, five. Rock and roll is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, man? I still haven't got any mong words for you for Beluk. I have two words for you. <laughs> you can guess what they are. How are you, man? I'm just doing a little, uh, a little. Um, How is the Baroque, man? Mighty fine. Forty years old. Forty. Almost as old as you. Actually, about ten years older than me, I think, man. <laughs> I've seen him. You seen Ramon? Say what? You seen Ramon? I don't see Ramon because uh, I don't have a keen eye for mullets. Fuck off! I'm What the hell? Uh, camera action. Howdy! <laughs> you got the old ukulele player with the root songs, uh, Crombie. Yeah. Which one? Oh, you was an English thing. Oh, oh you fucking. Okay. Before I ever watch it, fuck off with the camera. <laughs> That's Sorry, man, you're right. I need to get it exactly on your face. Let me just see. <laughs> there you go. It's that ugly, man. I've got. I had to get it. Look, 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 look it's at such it. an ugly face. I had to get it in focus. <laughs> fuck me, man. It's the fucking gotta get it you, man. It's, it's the Mitchell brothers. <laughs> right. Hang on a second. Oh no, no, him again. Oh, him again. Fuck yeah. Man, man. Well, look who it is, man. It's crazy Eddie, motherfucker. Fuck yeah. Crazy Grizzly Adams, man. Crazy Adams. I had to keep an eye on my fucking guitar. Oh, name is Ramon. Ramon. Doyle. Ramon. Doyle. 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 Yeah. Darren, you've got to work on the man. God damn it! Damn it. 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 Damn So today, um, all good, I'm still in Rotterdam uh, for the second day and uh, I put a message up, anybody wants to meet me today for a bit of crack, a bit of a laugh or a chat, um, and so a friend of mine sent me a message and he said, do you want to meet up? So I'm going to go meet him now, he's just checking out his hotel and we're going to go for a little bit of a bop. So it can't be a bop on a Sunday, man, so let's see how that goes. All right. 
How's it going, man? We're, uh, we're cruising around uh, Rotterdam this morning and uh, we're just checking out some yoga classes. By the way, I'm here. I just met my good friend here, Mr. Rocky Straycat, man. How you doing? Hi. Man? Yeah, I'm a fine. I'm fine. Very happy to be here in Rotterdam again. A great place. I'm just showing my friend uh, Doily around the place. And my good friend's going to show me around, man. I'll tell you, if you can just hold that for one minute, there you go. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whoa. That's some facial recognition on here. Yeah, man. That's what you said last night. Fancy, fancy technology. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bastard. Man, this was invented in the 50s, man. <laughs> okay, let me get that on. Okay. So yeah, this was invented in the 50s, man. Do you know that? Yeah, no, I actually didn't know that. So um, so what are you, what are you doing in Rotterdam today, man? Obviously, you told me already, but what are you doing today, man? Yeah, I, I went to the Efteling uh, yesterday with my girlfriend. Yeah. We actually live uh, far up north of the country. But uh, we use Rotterdam uh, to go everywhere and this time we went to the Efteling yesterday. Cool. It was pretty great. I was fucking about with the statues. <laughs> <laughs> I bet some people uh, saw that on Facebook already. Yeah, I think it's already on the Dutch news. <laughs> oh, Teddy, yeah. Teddy boy ruins, <laughs> ruins the statues. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy boy makes love the statues. <laughs> well, uh, It'd actually, be cheaper to go to Amsterdam, man, for 50 bucks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but you know... I love fucking about on the on the statues. Exactly, man. I think everybody loves fucking about on the old statues, man. Well, uh, I don't know if you have seen the news lately. I don't want to get politics involved, but uh, one of the attractions, which is uh, an African guy, big African guy, is actually uh, they uh, rebuilding that because uh, some some people actually complained about it. Uh, you have to keep in mind that the statue has been there for uh, as long as I can remember. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, my girlfriend has some uh, some photos when she was a little kid, and the same statue was there. It was a, a sort of uh, no a stereotypical uh, African tribesman uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. But you know, they uh, some people didn't like that. So uh, there, they it, yesterday was sort of my goodbye to the to the attraction you know you were sitting in the boiling pot and you're going round it's it's yeah, a pretty yeah. pretty tame attraction but it's great and when you hear all the the drama and the myths behind it it's great so uh, it's like that one of the little teacup things that spin around yeah 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but yeah, then yeah. it's uh, like boiling pots because okay, the, so the cool. african tribesman is eating you oh okay that sounds like one of our gigs <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Sounds like the wrecking pit, man. But yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, so that's great. And I was fucking about on uh, on all the uh, papier here or uh, put your trash yeah, here in yeah, my mouth yeah. statues. Always, always great fun. And so, how's the DJ going, man? Good. Well, actually, I'm uh, starting it up. I have uh, maybe I might have a gig in two weeks. Cool. If uh, if there's more interest into the day in the cruise in, always good to hear that this gigs coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're telling is, me. we need more gigs. We need more. We need more rock and roll. We need more rock and roll in life. You know, I mean, this is what when you have when a year of no rock and roll happens. Mm. It's fucking terrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I really miss going out, going yeah, out dancing. Yeah, yeah. And DJing. And uh, I actually uh, messaged one of the bars here in Rotterdam yesterday because. Uh, it can be opened longer, I ask you know. Yeah. I've been spinning there as long as I can remember. Can I do it again? Well, can we restart it? Yeah, yeah. And you got your own little Facebook spinning thing you do once uh, every couple of days or every week? Every, week? every, I try to do it every week. I had uh, a lot of uh, gigs. You know, I did, uh, we even did a sort of small teddy boy festival because Brilliant. young, young Teds never yeah. get asked for. Uh, DJ gigs, you yeah. know, it's, it's always the same type of music. Yeah. So uh, my mate Yen from France, uh, Yen the Corrupted, he uh, asked me to uh, do something together, and uh, yeah. my girlfriend also did her did a set. Cool. We play also kind of rockabilly and also country and the rhythm and blues. Go to the bar and grab a beer, you know. Yeah. Of course. Of course. What do you want to ask? One euro, please. One euro. If you say hello to the camera, we give you one euro. Okay, I got one euro for you, boss. No problem, man. Oh, hang on. There you go, man. Yeah. Have a good one. Don't forget, buy a beer with that, yeah. man, yeah? Yeah. <laughs>
a proper breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been to the tiki bar? No, the titty bar? <laughs> yeah, I wish. No, the, the, tiki, the, the tiki bar. It's open? Uh, I don't know, actually, because I haven't been here long. He was planning to open uh, this weekend, so I, I was. Well, I oh. did. I want to ask you. I maybe to ask you. Maybe we can uh, send him a message and say, "Hey, man, are you open for some tits and some rockabillies, man?" Some, some tits. Oh. Some tits and some tits. <laughs> so, what do you miss most about the last year, the bop? Uh, yeah, the jiving, the jiving uh, with the missus. Yeah, exactly, man. The bopping. The wrecking, well. Well. You, you ever been in a wrecking pit? Oh, <laughs> mate, I've been, my first wrecking pit was uh, when I first uh, started going out. I always was in the ro into the rockabilly thing, but yeah, yeah, I, I was yeah. a loner. I was pretty much a loner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then at 20, I went to uh, a gig. My first gig was uh, the Meteors and the Griswolds Whoa. in uh, LVC in Leiden. Doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now I've been into that pit, and I've been to in in the, in a pit in the cruise in. Cool. Ramon was actually playing there. Oh, with the Griswolds? Yeah, he was playing yeah, bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a, yeah, I've been into the pit, and uh, funny story. When I uh, got home, I, I was living with my uh, parents then. And uh, when I got home, I had bruises all over my fucking body, you know? <laughs> and uh, I woke up and uh, I got dressed and shit. And then I went downstairs and uh, we were supposed to go to my grandma or something. And uh, I, I, I went downstairs and my mom, she was yelling at me <laughs> because I had fucking bruises. She said, oh, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> are you fucking mad? You can't turn up like that uh, to your fuck. grandma's place bruises everywhere uh, it was fun but that means you had a good night i had a fucking great night when you got bruises man it shows you have a really you had a good fucking night man that's what counts you know you hard know to what? get a good night these days man but it's called coming back slowly. slowly 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 but surely all right man how's it going all right we're here with rocky and uh, tell us a bit about this uh well this statue is called uh kabouter butt plug or a midget butt plug uh he's uh actually santa claus but uh, with a Christmas tree in his hand, but you know it doesn't look like a Christmas tree. It looks like a giant butt plug. That's right, baby. Where's the one for my for the show? Need to get ready now. Go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue sweat shoes? When you can do anything, we're going for my blue sweat shoes. All right, man. Well, if you knock me down, step on my face, stick in my name. No. Okay, that's the end of the weekend. Uh, what a great weekend it was. Um, fantastic meeting everybody again after such a long time. And the gig last night was phenomenal again. I, I still got, can't get my head around. Um, everybody yeah, dancing indoors, wrecking, whatever, drinking, all allowed here. So it's fantastic to be in the Netherlands, especially in Rotterdam. So, uh, let me recap. It was cool. Met up with Ramon, met up with Sparky, got ourselves together, a little rehearsal, got ourselves a gig, played a gig show, played a gig last night. And then this morning, uh, I was hanging around Rotterdam, so I said, I'm gonna meet my friend Rocky, and we just had a nice long chat, we had dinner, and he's a cool guy, and I'm so glad I met up with him, I haven't seen him for such a long time. So that's the weekend in Rotterdam in two parts, and uh, watch the other part if you wanna find out how we got on, part one. And I'm hoping to be away again next week, 
on another travel but I don't know where yet I'm thinking about where to go but I've got an idea so if you're interested follow and find out what's going on I'll see you all next week